ladies. Hello. I'm so honored to be here. I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. Rachel Luckett. Hey. Uh, I actually have a uh, talk show, uh, Joy Net Radio, on Wednesdays at 12. Um, as a mother of four, um, a set of uh, twin girls, 14, uh, older daughter, 23, a son, um, eight. Um, I've been uh, with No Perm for two years. Uh, and so for me, I like wearing the natural. Um, it may be two or three days at a time. But after that, it's, I don't know, maybe it's something I use that I don't think it brings what I like. You know what I mean? I get a lot of comments and it's beautiful, the natural. But then when I add, uh, I add the hair. I allow some a beautician to add the hair. And I think for me, as 43 years old, that it do something for me. And so like you said, do you? You know, and as a mother that's with athletes and in ministry, uh, I do what's convenient for me. Right. So and you I should. Are you doing something convenient? I'm not understanding. Do, are you doing something convenient I think that you she don't uses care for? I think her hair that she adds is a base to her natural hair to make right. her natural hair do and look how she wants it to look. Okay. Because the natural hair, she wants to be natural, but her straight when she straightens it, it doesn't look like she wants it to look. Gotcha. But when she okay. adds the hair to it, it looks, am I correct? Yeah. Okay, it adds and makes it look the way she wants it to look. Got it. So okay. she's doing what works for her. And that, that it does do that. Um, a lot of my press clients will add hair. Yeah. Not a lot. Some just add a few. Um, and it allows them that base to control the natural hair. I'm, I'm not natural, right. but I'm texturized. Okay. I texturize my hair for control one, and because I wear high lift color two. Okay, I don't go bone straight. Okay. That's what works for me. Okay. But if I need, you know, uh, when you're natural, sometimes you need, women will need because it frizzes, okay. and it makes a, a foundation to keep that hair together and tamed. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Okay. Thank you. Thank you thank for you. your comment. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Hi, Melinda and the Pattern. Hello. Hi. I'm Tyrus from St. Louis, Missouri, and of course, majority of us have basically went natural up there, and it's the thing now. But I went natural. My concern is how to keep from being. I'm, I have like really thick, well, thin texture, but it's like a really, really curly, nappy texture. Specifically. And it's, I'm trying to get it to the uh, shine or keep it from looking so dry and rough. What, I mean, <laughs> I have used so many different chemicals. Also, I have went from being permed to doing the actual natural and transitioning over by myself. So I see the answer do not do it alone you know by yourself so now I know I need to go find me an actual stylist but I'm needing to know what do I need to do to keep it from being so bone I don't know it just be so dry right and rough looking to where I don't want to wear my hair so I keep it in you know just twist it up or well I'm certainly I'm sure we have some product to hear that oh, can yes. take care of that for you and <laughs> um, maybe Erica you can speak to that you yeah, go ahead I have questions to ask you first. <laughs> I'm sorry to ask you back. Um, your shampoo and conditioners. It's just I went from different types of just brands, just different types of like the. I mean, it's all kinds that I read the instructions right. on there and the, what's in it. Right. And so I know a lot of it had some sulfates in it and porphates or whatever that I was actually in alcohol that was drying me out. Right. Okay. So I found that out now that I wasn't supposed to be using any of that. Okay. So now I'm just trying to keep it from being just dry even when I do just wash it okay. and condition it. But it's still when it gets that dry look, it's just no, it's not presentable for me. Okay. But I, the reason why I asked what your shampoos and conditioners are because your foundation, we it's talked a about. It's can Cantu line. The Cantu line. Okay, yes. that's not a problem. I asked because a lot of women don't do the shampooing exactly. right now. Mm -hmm. And to have a good foundation, your foundation needs to start when it comes to hair care with a clean hair and scalp. Mm -hmm. And like you said, you found that you was allergic to some of the sulfates and some of the ingredients yes. and some of the shampoos. That's great. It's sad that you had to find out happenstance, you know, and you going through the trial and error of it all. But once you find a shampoo that you really like, 
for instance, like our hair repair line, which is great for dry and damaged hair, it helps restore the luster back into the hair strand. Mm -hmm. My second um, suggestion to you is also, whatever we take inside of our mouths, ladies, it comes out. Our hair is fed through our bloodstream. We take care of this skin, we take care of this body, but for some reason, like I was saying earlier, we cut off our head and say, you know, this is sanctified and holy and set mm -hmm. apart. And we set it apart for real. <laughs> but we can't set it apart because what we're drinking, what we're eating, our stress, our medication, mm -hmm. all those things yep. have adverse effect on the outcome of our skin and our hair. So some of those, some of the, qu the question you asked, kind of technical, but I'm going to be very brief as I can, um, to kind of combat that and be consistent with your shampoos and conditioners. Okay. Do treatments on your hair. Um, and another thing, if you're just having like a dull, I heard you say my hair is dull. Yes. One thing I do with my naturalistas, I do a gloss. It's not a permanent color. It's a demi-permanent. It's just deposit only. It doesn't t um, take any developer. It's just a zero, it's basically a zero lift. So it's not lifting your hair and it gives your hair a nice shine and it feels your cuticle because sometimes our hair is porous. Our cuticles are rough, all those things. So the gloss helps seal that down to give you that natural shine on top of the, your good foundation and shampoo and conditioner. And, and I'm going to take that a little bit further. Okay, Can you touched ahead. on something really great saying that, you know, your, your shampoo and your conditioner are the foundation. I like to think of our Curls Unleashed line as we thought about it as like your makeup. When you put on your makeup, you're putting on moisturizer, your, or your toner, you know, there's a foundation before you start putting on your makeup, right? So think of it as your shampoo and your conditioner, you know, that's, that's the foundation before, you know, you're setting the scene before you put on, you know, your makeup. So it's very important to also use a leave-in conditioner, which will help to seal the cuticle down before you start styling with your creams and your, your butters and your, your jellies. So I would recommend our Curls Unleashed leave-in conditioner first. Actually let that sit on the hair so the cuticle will lay down and then go in with your styling products yes. su such as the Curl Boosting Jelly or Take Command Cream. And then you'll actually see that your hair will stay shiny longer and it'll also seal in some of the moisture so that you can have a, you know, it, dr natural hair does dry out fast but there are ways that we can, you know, get that moisture right back in real quick and not have it be a burden every morning. So if you want to step up, I'm sure we can help you with some products and some product knowledge and help you with some, some routines or some regimens that you can use every day.